Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to show you our complete cast iron collection. Plus, we're going to give you some tips on what to buy if you're just starting out. Y'all stay tuned. <music> I tell you guys my uh, my collection sure has grown here in the last year uh, you know every time I go to an antique store I gotta stop gotta go in take a look see if we find any great buys and every once in a while we find a great one you know it gets it's kind of fun you know it's kind of fun um, and then we actually use everything that we buy we don't buy this stuff just to hang on the wall back here behind me and uh, look pretty you know so let's go over uh, real quick uh, show you what we've collected so far and I really don't know if I could use any more than what I got here but you know still if I find a good deal on a good old Griswold or a Wagner probably bringing it home but good deals on those are hard to find now right, let's start out there's our uh, three Dutch ovens and if you guys follow our channel you know that we use every one of those this is the 8 inch camp made I would uh, suggest however um, the 8 inch you get a get a lodge uh, I'm constantly fighting rust on this thing, even though I keep it seasoned just as well as any of my lodges. Uh, just not as good a quality on the actual uh, cast iron, I don't, I don't think. That is uh, made in China, come to find out uh, after I bought it. Uh, we have the 10-inch lodge Dutch oven and the 12-inch lodge Dutch oven. There's only one size I don't have, and that's the 14. Really wouldn't use one. Right, here's a new addition to our family. This is an old BSR uh, stew pot. Did a little trading with one of my good subs over there, Larry Stevens. He's uh, our channel expert on cast iron, made in the USA. That's pretty old. One. And then I found a really cheap, eight bucks. Found this antique store uh, last month. It's a made in Taiwan cast iron. You see these around, they're usually pretty cheap. Um, and to remember, that this was completely unseasoned when I found it, too. And, uh, you know, it's probably uh, 1960s, 70s, I don't know. Somebody will comment and let me know. Made in Taiwan's full of cast iron. Remember to season it, you just unscrew this ring back here and this handle comes off. Because if you put that in the oven, it's going to torch it. Okay. So there we got the uh, Lodge cast iron griddle. You know, that's reverse. Alright guys, I'm having a little trouble with this camera today. Uh, here's uh, one of the things we really love. That's the, uh, the Lodge cast iron lid for the 12 inch fry pans. Here's our old uh, Tex... Chinese uh, combination Dutch oven we bought and our newest member the sportsman's grill we've been having a great time with this grill and we'll probably use it again in the next video all right so up on the wall here's a lodge a newer lodge this is the uh, combo chicken fryer comes with that and you know either another pan and or lid it's great for frying chicken Here's an old, uh, something I picked up in yard sale for like a dollar. This is one of those uh, pans with a grill inside. I actually use that sometimes, just when I'm in a hurry. That's made in China. Uh, number six, three lot notch lodge I just got. Uh, number eight, three notch lodge, old one. These are all antiques. My favorite pan of all, the Griswold uh, chicken fryer. There's my old uh, Bass Pro Shops 10-inch um, pan, and then I have a 3 Knox Lodge 12-inch um, pan, and then my old 18th century spider skillet, which I'd love to find another one of those for a decent price. So that's kind of the uh, collection we have here, and we use this stuff. It's, it doesn't just hang on a wall. It's not decoration. Um, and it all works great uh, for the most part, you know, having some issues with some of the China stuff, right? So try to stick with Lodge or the old antique uh, Made in America pan. All right, so you're just starting out. Don't know what to buy. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. You go to Walmart, whatever, you can see uh, they got Lodge products in there. They also have a much cheaper... Uh, uh, Ozark Trails version of the cast iron there. I wouldn't recommend that stuff. 
uh, the Ozark Trail stuff. Uh, it is all made in China. Uh, you're not going to have a, it's, it's very rough. It's, it's not as uh, smoothly molded as the Lodge products are. And, uh, you know, I haven't tried one yet. Maybe we'll try to get one to just do a, you know, a, a little testing with it. And there's other uh, other of your outdoor stores that also carry uh, knockoff um, brands that are they look like a good bargain, but you know, piece of cast iron is going to last you forever. So let me start out with a good one to begin with. So what would I buy first if I only was going to buy one piece of cast iron and to learn how to cook in it? I would buy a 10-inch skillet. Okay. This is very versatile. You can lay this thing right on a bed of coals. You can cook on it charcoal. Or you can cook on it on the stove, right in the house, electric, gas, whatever you got. And uh, learn how to get it seasoned properly. Um, learn the, uh, you know, that you can get this a lot hotter. You don't have to worry about any of those fumes coming off a lot of these non-stick products. But if you're going to just start out by a good, made in the USA... There's only two brands right now that I know of that are made in the USA. Lodge is one. The other one, we're going to leave you a link. They're a new company making cast iron skillets like the old antique stuff. So the company um, I'm talking about that's uh, making new cast iron the way they used to make the old Griswolds and Wagner Ware, it's called the Field Company. Now, I went on the website and checked them out. They're not cheap. About a hundred bucks. Okay, for a pan. Um, we did reach out to them, see if they could uh, send us one over to do a little product review. So hopefully you might see that in the future. Otherwise, if they don't want to give us one, we might have to go buy one. But anyway, a lodge will do you just fine. Work on your seasoning on it, and uh, you'll—I guarantee you—if you put a little effort into it, you'll be happy. So if you want to get into Dutch oven cooking. What do I recommend there? Well, there's no other or better product than the good old Lodge 10 inch Dutch oven to get started with. Uh, this uh, Dutch oven's big enough, you can do a lot with it, um, but it's small enough, it doesn't weigh a ton. This is the 10 inch uh, shallow. They do make a 10 inch deep also. You can find both of those, uh, I believe. We have both of them up on our, on, on our Amazon store. So if you go check out our Amazon store, you can buy both the uh, Lodge 10-inch pre-season, Lodge 10-inch uh, skillet on there, and then we have all the sizes of the Lodge Dutch ovens on the store. Um, they go up and down in price right now. They're a great buy with the holidays coming up. But uh, if you're only going to have one piece of cast iron, depending on what you're doing, whether you want to cook outside on charcoal, 10-inch Lodge Dutch oven, Getting started basically, you know, in the house and trying to move to the outside, 10 inch Lodge cast iron skillet. I guarantee you're going to love them. Also, a great companion for your 10 inch Lodge Dutch oven is a Lodge bag. Okay? And that keeps your Dutch oven clean, makes it easy to transport, it has nice strong handles on it. This one's the uh, Bass Pro Shop logo, logoed one here. I got this one for uh, Christmas a couple years ago, and I really enjoyed it. And also, if you watch some of our videos where we cook on location, we'll actually take our pan, put it right in there, and you can put your lid lifter right in there. Okay, get everything in there, zip it right up, just you know, zip it up to where these handles hang out. But you got everything right in one bag and uh, makes it easy to transport. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. As always, if you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button right over there. To check out our last video, it's right up here. And for a whole playlist of cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, check it out right up here. We'll see you next time.